So you guys know I've been talking about folding screens. It's cool, it's sci-fi, it's the future. Now up until this point, I've only showcased the idea of a folding screen in a smartphone in the form of the Galaxy Fold, which, well, who knows where that thing is right now? It's, it's, who can find it? I don't know, where's the Galaxy Fold? It ain't here. It doesn't mean it's not the future. It doesn't mean it's gonna, it's not gonna be an eventual reality because this tech, the hardware, appears to be here to stay and, and trickling into other devices, including this one in front of me. Now, this thing is a prototype, but I am very excited to have it here to be one of the first people to look at this in studio. This is the Lenovo Folding PC. Now you may have seen clips floating around the internet. It's a totally different form factor. Forget about a smartphone. This is a way bigger folding display aimed at kind of replacing maybe your tablet, maybe your laptop. That remains to be seen. It's a clear indication into what a futuristic laptop replacement, tablet replacement type of com computing platform can be. I'm gonna bring in Willie Do because he's been briefed. He's like, he's the expert. Look at this, he made notes and everything. We gotta be prepared on this one because the eventual commercially available product may change a little bit. But and this showcased the proof of concept really nicely, so. Okay, at first, it just, it kind of looks like uh, the X1 tablet. You know how the yep. screen comes off from the key? It kind of yeah. seems like that's what it might be. But of course I'm guessing, it, like that's not the magic part, Well, The magic cool. part is what, like this? Cool. Oh, now it's kind of like a notebook, like a leather. It's kind of like a leather notebook, like something you would write with a pen in. Exactly. It's got a similar vibe. Like look at the size of it, it's tiny. Yeah. Now keep in mind, I mean like, we're looking at this, you see the hinges here. You're not really sure how it operates. Prototype. Mm -hmm. We just need to be clear, <laughs> prototype. Very prototype. Now obviously this is an OLED as well because it bends. So Samsung has like a snap hinge. This one is apparently torque. Torque hinge. Yeah. It sounds very powerful. <laughs> Yeah, apparently you could fold it many, many times. They did a lot of testing on it. Obviously, you could prop it up like this, and there's some sort of a stand, right? Am I right about this? Yep. Okay, so you could prop it up like this, and then have what, like a little keyboard module in front of it? So 13.3 inch display, kind of a surprising aspect ratio, a little taller. Mm -hmm. The more interesting version of that would be like this, right? Like you would have it like that, with like a keyboard down here. Yeah, and you could show it off, so. Tap on that and it should reorient itself. Hey. There you go. And then you could check out a video here. And what Whoa. you can do is you can start searching. It's so magical. So show, show look at that. Okay, Will, so uh, why don't you break down the specs for us here? I know you got a list there. So for the display, it's using an LG display here. Um, it's a, obviously an OLED. 2K display with the four by three ratio. Each screen is 9.6 inches. Each of these two? Yes. So if if it was two separate displays, it would be 9.6 on each side? Yeah. Yes. Look at this, what, I, it's like I got a cookbook or something here, Will. And it's also uses a Wacom pen that could be attached right here. So apparently it's also got an all day battery in it. I mean, we don't, how could we really break down what that means at this point, very early stages. It's also gonna be available in 2020. So it's still a ways out. Let's keep that in mind. Early days. For a package this scale, imagine you're at the coffee shop, Well, Oh, this is super important. Guy like you. Yeah. Latte. Okay, let me try typing on this. I'm real curious. I'm a big keyboard guy. It's the reason I'm even using the X1 Carbon. Now, can you hold it like this and start Typing. I, I wonder if like the keys can split and then you could start typing. I could type like that. this. I could type like this. I could reach to the middle. There you go. Let's see. Unbox therapy. Yeah, I mean like yeah. And that is so weird when Look you're scrolling, scrolling on that the bent weird. on the bent display. Look at this, Jack. That's magic right there. Okay, that's technology. That's why we do this. It's why we're in this business. It's crazy, man. It's science fiction. What are mm -hmm. we doing? Mm -hmm. What are we doing in technology? Well, it's like when I used to watch, you know, in the old days, Blade Runner type stuff. This is what they couldn't put in the movie because they didn't have it at the time, but this is sort of what you imagined. I'm having an experience right now. Yeah. Because it's just, it doesn't, in your brain, it doesn't really 
fully, you don't fully receive it for the. F and just knowing that the keyboard is digitized, it could be removed at any time. It's like, oh, it could be more screen real estate. Changing its form to meet the criteria, whatever it is that you're asking it for. Exactly. That's the uh, exciting part. This one demonstrates that possibly even better than the phone. Because the phone, there was a lot of conversation about, well, when do you use the phone when it's folded up? And when do you fold it out? And do you have the time? Because with a phone, there's still a lot of one-handed use that goes on throughout right. the day. A right. casual kind of like pop in, pop out type of thing. Still trying to figure it out. Still trying to figure it out. And from a form factor perspective, the thing roughly the same scale. This one has some key advantages that the phone can't say that it has to the same extent. If it's a replacement for a laptop, let's say, it ends up in a way smaller package than a laptop with a similar exactly. specification. A lot of people speculated that this was the true implementation for this tech. Mm -hmm. Because laptops are big. Look at that thing that you're yeah. using. And you're missing out a lot of screen real estate if the keyboard's there. You kind of have to think the opposite where like the screen is first. And then, you know, you add haptic feedback or something, it becomes like a full-fledged keyboard that you mm. can feel. Mm. And that's See, really all you need. Feel, though, that's the thing. Because for me, I'm always yeah, talking feel, Will. I know there's going to be some external module, but, like, am I carrying it everywhere? Probably not. Flip side, though, you pull that out at a coffee shop, holy you're moly. You're turning some heads. You're going to get some serious attention, dude. Whoa. <laughs> Look, I don't know, man. I'm into laptops. I'm a laptop guy. I'm yes. typing, tactile, yes. that's my thing. So is the form factor exchange significant enough for me to imagine a universe in which this is it? The most compelling part is the scale of it. You walk around with this, like you don't even, it's nothing. Uh -huh. And then of course, the fact that you get OLED, which is a difficult thing. I mean, you don't see it in a lot of laptops to mm -hmm. begin with. This is not the finished product. I expect this to improve. Yes, there are going to be some drawbacks. There are always drawbacks, Well, But in this case, the question is, do you get more than you got to give up? And maybe so. Like, what if I told you that's a 13-inch display right there? You'd be like, no, it's not. I'd that's be like, a sketchbook. You'd be like, that's a sketchbook. I'd be like, oh, yeah? Tough guy? Huh? <laughs> My head just exploded. Yeah, exactly. Tough guy? I'm excited to get to check stuff like this out, to be honest. I've said it in the past with stuff that's super science fiction like this, ambitious like this. This is the kind of stuff that makes me appreciate this job specifically to get to examine this right as it's kind of on the cutting edge, the yep. bleeding edge, as they say in tech. Mm -hmm. So uh, I'm excited for moments like this. And uh, there you have it. It's the folding PC from Lenovo. <laughs>